TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. You know, when something goes viral on social media, everyone is a part of it. Fragrances are no different. Shoot, I'm no different. So I wanted to get it on the most talked about Middle Eastern fragrances. And so I bought them. You got to come back to find out my thoughts, though. everybody welcome back to another video of smell good with jenna i'm of course jenna you know what you got to do like follow subscribe comment let me know if you got any of these middle eastern fragrances or arabic i, I don't know what's the proper thing to to classify them as but yeah let me know if you have them are you interested in them is the, the hype get you because it definitely got me but the first up on my list is latafa's nebras this came out in 2022 and I, I'm a big vanilla person a lot. If you've watched my videos previously, again, I've mentioned time and time again, I love vanilla. So when I see everyone discussing this fragrance and saying, oh, this smells like an amber vanilla, 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 I'm very interested. Plus on top of that, the time of season, the season that we're in where vanilla tends to do really well in the cold, the colder colder weather i definitely have to dabble with that so i went ahead and purchased the ne nebras i think it was what fifty dollars or so on amazon and i personally haven't bought eilish from billy eilish no shade to her or any or anybody that purchases celebrity perfumes but for me over the years i feel you know what you're getting when you get a, a celebrity perfume. And I'm not shading anybody or shading the perfumes. If that's what you like, they I'm pretty sure they smell good. But I prefer buying designer, niche, and now Middle Eastern fragrances. But yeah, a lot of people were saying that this smells, this is an exact dupe for Eilish. So if you have it, let me know if you have this as well. I don't know. But... I'll be honest with you. When I first smelled this, I thought it was interesting. So again, keep in mind, I didn't, I haven't smelled eyelash before, so I don't know. This looks, don't mind my decor. It's with that holiday spirit, so I'm trying to, whatever. Don't judge me for the decor. Anyway, but yeah, I, honest, honest opinion, I, I thought it was an interesting scent. So I will, some of the notes I, I'll tell you that's in here, specifically in the top, is red are red berries, mandarin, orange, and in the middle notes you have vanilla, cacao, rose. I'm sorry if you hear the background noise. I live in New York, as I mentioned before, so my apologies. Vanilla, cacao, rose, and in the base note you have sugar, tonka bee, amber, and musk. So now, from from the middle to the bottom, you get this gourmand pastry like scent, but it opens up, as I've mentioned, the red berries and the mandarin or orange. So I, I get sweet, then I get citrus, and then I get the gourmand all together. So I found that very interesting. I didn't hate it right off the bat or, or immediately liked it, but it was just like, oh, this is interesting. So. Mind you, that was the first day that I, I wound up receiving it and I opened it and sprayed it. I didn't want to give up hope. I know I've, another thing that I've seen on social media when it comes to these Middle Eastern fragrances, a lot of them have to sit for a minute. You, you know, macerate, you, you spray it, let it sit for a couple of weeks, a month, whatever the case might be. They have to sit. So I kept that in mind. So the following day, I was like, no. Nah, you know, we, we, we got to try this again. So, and I promise you, I'm not saying this. I swear on everything. I'm not saying this just to, that I convinced myself to like it. The next day I sprayed it, I was like, oh, okay. I like how this dries down better. I don't know what, 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 the, what was up with the initial spray yesterday, but today it, or not today, the, the following day, it smelled completely different. Even still. I purchased it. I didn't buy it. I didn't wear it immediately. So now it still had that time to macerate. So when I finally decided to wear it a couple of weeks later, 
it i i got what people were saying again it opens up with that citrus berry scent and then it dries down sort of like a vanilla a vanilla chocolate cake so definitely very edible it's it's a different smell if you're not used to having smelling berries and citrus which are vanillas which are gourmands but it dries down extremely beautifully gourmand sweet we're in the type we're in the weather i don't know why i can never say that properly like first shot off the right off the bat we're in the perfect time of the year the perfect season for a scent like this so if this is if that's your juice gourmand sweet you can't go wrong with Latafa's Nebras. Next up on the list, we have Latafa's Yara. Another thing about Latafa, I'm noticing their pre the presentation with their bottles and packaging are absolutely gorgeous. I where I don't. This is. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Well, that was a doozy, huh? No, in all seriousness, yeah, I I find their packaging absolutely be beautiful. This is very unique. I just who decides to make bottles like this? I don't. Next know. up, obviously, we're just dis we're discussing the Tafis Yara, and this is this is another. This was something else when I opened it. Same thing. How I felt about Nebras, it was like mm, this is different. Everyone was raving about this. Not so much about Nebras. I didn't see that as often, but this one, this one, I think there's about three other ones. I think there's one that's called the Sod, Latafa's, or like that, this is the packaging. I, I have to look it up, but yeah. And then there's two other ones, one that's orange, and then one another one that's in a white bottle. But everyone keeps talking about this one. This one, it smells like a strawberry milkshake and blah 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 so i i'm like oh well i gotta get up in on that too so i've seen so like i said i've seen this so many different times but then when i opened it again i was just like oh <laughs> that's interesting again not that it smelled bad or it smelled great it was just like i don't i that's different so same thing that was my that was my initial reaction when I first got them. Then the following day I said, no, let me try this again. Same thing. I was like, okay, I like the how this dry is drying down better than it did yesterday. So I don't know if that initial spray from the bottle did something for for it to smell a little bit better, but I definitely the dry down in particular, I I was more privy to <laughs> the following day. So some of the notes are actually really surprising, especially when I've heard multiple times it smells like strawberries. But the top notes are orchid, heliotrope, tangerine. And the middle notes are gourmand accord and tropical fruits. Maybe the strawberries in there amongst the tropical fruits. I'm assuming you get a little pineapple, mango, et cetera, et cetera. And in the base notes, you have vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So this is very surprising that a lot of people smell immediately thought oh this smells like strawberries but can this sounds weird and let me know if you understand what i'm saying it literally smells like pink the, the bottle was pink it just smells pink that's what i get from that i can't pinpoint any type of fruit, I I can smell the sandalwood. It's it's very creamy. I will say that you have the vanilla. It's it's just kind of all over the place. I I know this is not a good review on like oh girl what is this what does it smell like? I'm telling you the truth. It it it's it's creamy. It's sweet. It's a little powdery. You get tropical vibes. It's for, you get everything under the, sun, uh, under the sun when it comes to this fragrance. So that's why I think the initial spray, I, I couldn't really pinpoint, one, what it is. And that it for sure wasn't what I was expecting. So 
that might not be a, a raving review and be like, oh, let me get it. But it really, I promise, it does, it smells really, really good. Um, it just came off. So. You, you making me look bad in front of everybody. Yeah, so I can't really pinpoint pinpoints it. it it smells tropical it smells fruity it smells creamy gourmand a little citrus it literally has everything under the sun so that's a very that sounds very complex and for me if i if i was listening to that i'd be like ah oh, probably would probably look into that but i can't tell you it smells like a strawberry milkshake it does not it does not smell like a strawberry milkshake to me not in the slightest. I don't know. I don't know what to pin, pinpoint this. Someone let me know in the comments what what it reminds you of. I, I can't get put my hand on it. So one of the things I did, I saw a couple of times about layering the two together. So Nebras and Yara, ironically. And we're going to go ahead and didn't want to spray too much because like I said these are powerhouses and yeah I can smell it already <sighs> Nebras is she's getting there for sure uh, so let's go ahead and spray a little bit of Yara okay I, that's cute That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I will tell you this. Yara is not necessarily a must have. Why? Because it does smell like something you can get from Bath and Body Works. I will say that a thousand percent. That doesn't mean Bath and Body Works doesn't have hits there. They don't have bangers. But I will say this gives me very. That's not bad. That's not bad. Whoever set this on Instagram, that's not bad. But just like, again, keep in mind, this does smell like something from Bath and Body Works. Does it smell cheap? No, but you could probably find something similar at Bath and Body Works. So just keep that in mind. But I like it. For 20 some odd dollars, I didn't break the bank. You can't go wrong for, for that price point. You won't be disappointed spending that much money for, for something like that. So this is Latafa's Yara. Lastly on this list, not necessarily the best one, but I wound up reviewing and grouping the Latafa fragrances together. We have Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Now, this is actually also the cheapest uh, out of the four. I spent about $15 on, on this on Amazon. And again, you got to be careful when you purchase things that are cheap because it could like again it could be cheap smelling and the quality might not be up to par but i will say this is a, a really good one it's cute it, it it's, it's definitely it's not as long lasting as the other ones that i've mentioned but it does this thing i actually want the blaring it was a random day last week i believe or the week before no last week super 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 cold I mean, listen, we're in December, we're getting to winter, so it's not necessarily random. I think it's just more so random for the fact that over the years, the weather hasn't been weathering like we, we know it should. So that's why I said it was random. But I wound up wearing Tribeca from Bond Number no. 9, and I wanted to like zhuzh up the cacao note. So I decided to layer it with this, and it made it even more gourmand creamier sweeter so it was a cute co layering combo i don't know if i would do it all the time just because i like the fact the difference between bond number no. nine's tribeca and new york nights new york nights is sweeter and then tribeca it's it's gourmand but it's not too too sweet so i don't i didn't want to make that overly sweet I'm, I haven't I had made a video about comparing the two. I'm gonna eventually drop that so you know more or less what I'm talking about once I drop that or if you own the two, you already know. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. And definitely this is something that will give you, if you love sweet 
you'll like this. Is it overly sweet? No, not necessarily. It's a little powdery. Let's see, I have my iPad open. I keep reaching over there because I wanna read the notes, but let's spray her. It's nice, it really is nice. For $15, is it award-winning? Is it world-renowned? No, no, but <laughs> it's cute. It's cute, and I, me personally, I, I have I have quite a lot of fragrances, but I still don't have as many as so many other people and, and fragrance influencers have. So I know one note in particular that's missing in my in my collection is chocolate and cacao. So I wanted to I thought that was perfect. Let me get this as it, it's more chocolate forward. So speaking of which, in the notes we have vanilla, milk chocolate white musk, some spicy notes, cinnamon, amber, sandalwood, myrrh, and rose. Uh, it's so fascinating how these like, these perfumers decide to put rose into this. Like why would rose be the thing to put in this? But needless to say, that's one of the notes. I definitely don't smell any rose. And the vanilla and milk chocolate is very, it's right there, interchangeable. You smell the chocolate, but then the vanilla peeks through and it's it's like sort of a battle and the milk chocolate winds up winning. That's my interpretation of this fragrance. It's much, it's definitely milk chocolate, so creamy. That's what, what more so shines, obviously with the name being Choco Musk, that, that's what should actually shine through, so. If you're look, I think this is something good for not necessarily I'm going to wear this by itself and turn heads. I think this is something very good that you can use for layering purposes. And it's it listen, it's good to wear on its own too. You know, you do what you got to do and, and and rock it and freak it the way you want to. It's a cute fragrance. Is it my absolute best of 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 the ones that I purchased? No. Was it something I'd purchase again? No. <laughs> Like for, for Kamra, yes, that is always going to be in rotation. Always, will always be in my collection. This, no, but it's cute. It's not, it, for $15, I can't be mad. You see people in the comments talking about, oh, you know, on, on like Fragrantica or wherever, like, oh, you know, I'll never blind buy something again. And like, you can't, you can't get mad off of $15. I know when this economy is crazy and we trying to, save our coins but for 15 dollars, it's not that bad and again you can use this for layering purposes so yeah that's choco must from our rehab let me know in the comments you have any of these fragrances you are you dabbling in the middle eastern fragrance fragrance world what should i pick up next i definitely said i'm picking up the the flanker for camera and yeah let me know in the comments do what you got to do like follow subscribe and always remember the best compliment one could get is that you smell so good